Okay, welcome, welcome. Right here, I'm gonna show you very quickly how to find a very clean entry, no matter what you're looking for, right? If you are a price action trader, all you have to focus on is price action. Remember, these levels, these zones, these levels of support and resistance, they are your where and the pattern is your why. So all these levels you see here, that's where I want to enter. And when it gets to that level, I use my pattern as why I want to enter. So think about this right here. You you can easily see that this is a level of support. We go over here, another clear level of support. We can look to our past and distinguish that both times it pushed up at this level, came here once again, and it pushed up at this level. It came here this time, right? We can look to our past as price action traders and say to ourselves that in the past, it pushed up. So once again, it can do the exact same thing. So you see one, two, three times, it pushed all the way to the top side. So think about what could happen right here at this moment. Now, this is where finding that entry really comes down to it. You're always being patient and just seeing which more direction is more likely to take. Will it push up? You already saw that three times in your past, it pushed up at this level. So that is one direction that could come into play. Besides looking for the buy, what's the other way the market can go? You're right, it can break below this level and pull back the same exact way. And this way, you're looking for yourself to make money all the way to the downside. It's just that simple. A simple breakout, a simple pullback to the downside or to the top side can go extremely long way and be just that simple to make your profit. Now, look in your past, right? If we're looking to our past, we can see how it broke above this level, pulled back, and that's where it went to the top side. Broke above this level, pulled back, and that's where it went to the top side. So if I was going to go for another buy, I prefer to wait for that. Break above this level, pull back to the same exact level and that will be my buy signal okay break above the previous level and look for the same thing that happened in the past you see it happen right here very clean you see it happen right here very clean once it breaks above this zone breaks above this zone, that's the breakout, that's the pullback, and you're looking for your buy. So only if that happens, right? Only if this happens, I'm going to go for a buy. If the price action decides to break below this level and pull back and make a confirmation, I'm going to go for myself. And always remember, when it comes down to looking for these breakout, you want to see a big breakout or at least a lot of volume above that level. So you want to see a full bar close below or above that level when you're looking for that pullback always it has to be a great breakout not that simple 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 break below push back up you want to see a lot of volume to the downside or to the top side when you're going for a trade and consider that to be that breakout okay always a lot of volume so as time is going on we can see this big bar it breaks below this level okay it's very simple guys right as time is going on we see price action closing below this level now when you're seeing just like this we can go down to a lower time frame being the four hour. Now look at that, right? You see how we're using the same levels, but we went down to a lower time frame, but we're still using the same zones and the same level. If I go back to my eight hour, right? And one second, guys, right? I'll go back to my eight hour and I'll mark this up right here. I'll make it a different color, like red, right? If you're seeing that zone, now when I go down to my four hour, I'm still using that same exact zone. Now look at this right here. Here we have the breakout. That big red bar was the breakout. This green bar right here was the pullback, right? Like we said before, we want to see a lot of volume as far as it being a breakout. This full red bar came all the way down here and it closed below this level. That was the breakout. Now that we've already found a breakout below the level, we said to ourselves, 
a pullback can happen next. We look for our confirmation and boom, we make our money to the downside. Because price action did not break above this level and pull back, we knew we was not going for a buy. We knew a buy was not the trade or the trade we're looking for to get into, okay? It always had to be patient, waiting for the breakout, waiting for the pullback to either direction and going for your trade. So seeing this next right here, right, we already have the breakout, already have the pullback. Now all we need next is the confirmation, right? The confirmation is our why. The level was our where, right? This red level here was our where, and now we're looking for why do we want to enter. We already figured out where we want to enter at. Now it's about why. We started from the eight, and now we're on the four. We can go down to the three. We're trying to find out, can we see any kind of candlestick pattern that's going to tell us price action is going to continue to fall to the downside. Now, this is very simple stuff right here. Look at this very simple evening star pattern. Don't forget, right, this red level here, we have the breakout. We had to pull back to the same exact level. So we found our where. And now this evening star right here is going to be why we sell at this level. Okay. We had our where and the price action pattern, evening star, morning star, bearish and golfing, bullish and golfing, dojis, all those kind of patterns is a reason why you want to enter a trade. The same thing here. You see how we had a breakout, a pullback, and it makes an evening star, and then boom it drops to the downside same exact thing that's why it's so great to be a price action trader when all you're really looking for is patterns that happen in the market over and over again so we have the breakout we have the pullback and now we have the evening star so what are we going to do we're going to look to go short it's just that simple. And you really want to wait until the candlestick forms, okay? So whenever you distinguish, you have a pattern, a even star, morning star, whatever it may be, you want to wait until that pattern finishes pulling out as far as finishing closing the whole entire pattern before you enter. So after the last bar of that evening star finishes, I'm going to enter right after that bar, just like this. When it comes to making my stop loss, I want to place my stop loss above the previous level when I'm going for a sell. So I'm going to place my stop loss above this previous level, or in most cases, it can be above the pattern. But sometimes you might want a little cushion on your stop Stop loss so you place it above the level now just like this guys now let's talk about looking for our take profit this right here is going to be our tp1 why because this is where price action stopped that in the past it came down here and stopped right here so we sell right here this is going to be our tp1 and anything below that would be tp2 and three and so forth and so forth but just really understand that right we had this past level of support, past level of support, past level of support. We said to ourselves, a breakout, a pullback, well, all we need to look for along with our candlestick confirmation, and that's our trade. As soon as we have them three different things, the breakout, the pullback, and the candlestick confirmation, that's really all we need to find our trade when it comes to price action. It's just as simple every single time. You do not have to overthink it. As time is going on, we can see exactly what happens after that evening start it breaks all the way to the downside and you're making a ridiculous amount of profit from this level right here all the way to the downside is about 75 pips so if you're using a basic one dot zero zero which is ten dollars per pip you're already making over 750 to the downside right 1.00 equals ten dollars per pip so when price action comes even at least down here to this level you're already making that 750 dollars already even when it comes just down to your tp1 once it breaks your tp1 you're pretty much doing the same thing you did 
did in the past. Wait for a breakout, wait for a pullback, look for your confirmation, and then boom, you're going for your trade. It's just that simple. Even in this case right here, if it finishes breaking down below your TP1, you can pretty much stay into that trade even more if you want to do so. But this is how simple trading really is. You're making a lot of money every single day. Remember, even this move right here, you're making 750 very quickly. But watch right here, guys, right? You see this past level, right? So we're going to do the same exact thing. Wait for a breakout, wait for a pullback, look for confirmation, and then boom, we do the same thing. If you're going to go for a buy, it has to break back above the previous level, pull back, and that's your buy, right? It's always easy when you're waiting for things to happen. You're not rushing into the trade. You're looking for very easy, specific things to happen in the market. And when they do, you simply attack and go for that trade. So right here, we're going to do the same thing. Wait for a breakout. You see the pullback happening. Then you wait for your candlestick pattern. And that's it, right? You wait for the breakout. You look for the pullback. And what do we have here, right? Another evening star pattern. The same thing we did right here. So you see how the pattern is being very consistent. I see the evening star. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Once that evening star finished pulling out, I'm going to go short once again after that pattern. So boom, just like that. I'm not doing anything different, right? I'm going short. Stop loss above the previous level. The same thing we did in the past, we're doing once again for this second trade. So really understand how nothing ever is changing when I'm going for my entry. That's how I'm able to be so consistent, right? I'm always looking for the same thing over and over again. So the first trade is already making us over 750 in profit. And now we found a second trade based off of the same exact rules as our first one. Simple breakout, simple pullback, simple evening star. We're looking for a sell. We had an evening star here. We got it for ourselves made all that profit another evening star here so we're going to do the same exact thing and when time goes on look at what happens it make a drastic move all the way to the downside this is why trading is so easy guys right you simply just don't have to overthink it. In any case scenario, when you're into a trade and you're all over the place, so I say this and look at that and what's that going on there and volume and RSI, you already lost the trade. You want to keep things as simple as possible. Look at the evening star right here. Could I go for another sell? Of course I could. Or I could just keep my two trades right here, making me more and more profit every single day. But understand how simple that trade was, right? And we're coming all the way into what's going on right now. So you see just these two simple trades will make you a lot of money and really understand, right? If I wanted to, I could have sold again, boom, even after the other evening star, and I could have kept on making profit to the downside, guys, right? This is how simple pr price action really is when you're going for a trade. This right here is three different entries, all on the same pair, all the same exact strategy. Even though it's three different trades, you enter each one of them the same exact way, and you see how that evening star was the reason to getting into each of themselves. So this right here is what I do every single time, just being very simple in the market and looking for perfect, perfect trades and always taking your time. Patience in the market is really key. Always know what you're looking for. In time you see that in the market, you simply attack. I'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day.